Hey guys, Anthony 4 before Diesel. Just a really quick video. We're sharing some information about this Eaton uh, True Track rear uh, LSD we've put in the Hilux, 2013 Hilux that we're using on the tracks. Firstly, I'd like to point out really bad tyres, over seven years old, lots of tracks out back, whatever, and we're just testing them to punish them out to the absolute maximum till they're slicks, whatever we can do. We want to even try and puncture one. No luck so far. So they're super reliable tyres and we're driving around in the wet. Um, it, you know, and we just can't get them to slide, but it's not about tyres, it's about the LSD this time because there's a lot of people that obviously know more than me. So once again, we'll just show what's happening. Now, first thing I'd like to explain with differentials, if you've got an open diff, that's without any sort of LSD, when you turn the wheel one way, the opposite side of the vehicle will turn the other way. I'll say generally, because there might be a few exclusions to uh, to that rule, right? Not much rubber left here for traction, is there? But anyway, right, so an LSD, when you turn it, it'll spin the same way. So we'll just quickly do that here with a Hilux. This is the one with the true tracks. If we spin it forward, it'll stay together. So that's what it's meant to do. And if we spin it backwards or forward, that was backwards first and forwards, whatever, right? Doesn't matter which way we spin it, Right, it'll it'll copy, okay? Now, it's not locked together, it's not a locker. This is what an LSD is, and this is a really good LSD. Some people seem to think that there's, oh, there's something wrong with that one. Now, what's the chances that everything that I bolt on my vehicles, there's something wrong with? No, there's not. I don't, there's not many things that we bolt on our vehicle that there's something wrong with, just like your vehicles, okay? So don't just go, oh, mate, you know, there's something wrong with it, you know, the projector DCD, ah, oh, there's something wrong with it, no. There's not something wrong with it. There's something wrong with it is the whole design. Now, this thing, we didn't think that it was going to necessarily be a locker. But obviously we thought with enough resistance on one side, then that would keep it locked. Now, it's obviously a varying amount, you know. I mean, you need a, a very small amount, fully flexed, fully loaded up at one side here, and nothing at the other isn't going to do it. But if you're moving... Um, it's enough to keep it sort of locked and obviously you get to the next point where with an open diff, it just completely spins. I had this vehicle on the tracks a number of times with open diffs. This one, 2013, comes with open diffs and traction control. The traction control is slow and really hopeless in my opinion. If you've got really good tyres, the combination of the two, it might pull you through. Like if you've got new BFGs every six months or something like that, KO2s. So what happens is, right... You can see, spin it that way, spin it that way. Now, what's meant to happen by the instructions, the the test, if you like, the first test is you, you get two people and you spin one wheel. It won't spin because it's an LSD, right? It's, there's all helical gears and stuff in there. But what you should be able to do, and just to demonstrate it is working how it's meant, so I'm going to get in here. Let's check the play the bearings first. That's always worth doing, right? Just do that, right, while I think of it. But the point is, you can see... It's a fair bit of force, but that's what's meant to happen, okay? So it's still going to spin together like before, right? But it, with it, you know, if ideally with two people, one holds one side, one turns the other, you should be able to, you can either turn, obviously they'll turn together, but you should be able to. There's a strong resistance, but I can, act, with, without even hopefully getting in the picture to block your view of what's going on, I can just, with my two arms, reaching apart, pretty well maxed out, to push them in opposite directions. So I believe that's how it's meant to work. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not It's not working right. This is what you're gonna get. So when you're on level ground, when you're on the road, when you're on dirt roads, you're gonna have, well, when you back off, it's not locked, it's not together. But the more you accelerate, the more power you've got, or the more accelerator, the more it locks. It's like it's gradual, all right? I've been using it a fair while now. I've worked out what goes on. So you can accelerate lightly and you'll sort of, it'll almost, you know, it'll be, there'll be a certain amount of slip. Do you know what I mean? It's a real limited slip diff. It'll, it's gradual. You give it the full gas, it's going to be like locked as long as you've got some traction. Do you know what I mean? Um, and obviously if you hold the button five seconds, whatever it is, turn the traction control off. That's what we're going to call the fun button for future reference. If you want more info, we're going to have more videos on both channels. Four before inventions where the demonstration, well, for Before Adventures is where the demonstration videos are going to be. The first one was an extreme situation, a really big washout. We had it in two-wheel drive on purpose. This tyre here, here with not much traction anyway, if you can see from the rubber, was probably, let's say, almost off the ground, or I've got it wrong, around the wrong way, and the other side was fully loaded. So 
you know, it would have been good if it held. The part that I was surprised about, when I applied the brakes and drove through it, it didn't hold, okay? Um, I would have thought with brake pressure, it just goes to show my rear brakes are probably average. So maybe if we adjust the brakes, clean up the brakes, put some new wheel cylinders, bleed the brakes and get the brakes working properly at the rear, then uh, it might work better. And the other thing is, when you're in full drive and it's all happening, if you keep on the gas, the fact that the traction control is there, when the traction control does come in and put the brakes on a bit, between that and some momentum, it's going to work really well. And what I can tell you so far from preliminary testing, we've been out a few times since that initial video on 4 for Adventures, um, it certainly seems to improve the vehicle about 80%. I'm not going to say it's going to go anywhere, but I'm that impressed with it that I believe once I put the front locker in, it'll go pretty much anywhere. Now, if you're going to do the most extreme rock hopping, you've probably got the wrong vehicle, but you would put front and rear lockers in. But as long as you're happy with open diffs, right? That means you're at the lights on a wet road and you go, you take off and zzz, one wheel spell, traction control, and you lose all engine power and all that. It's just, it's not, it's not fun, right? So LSD, you've got, you hit the gas, you've got two tires. So on the blacktop, wet roads, dry roads, whatever, you're going to have two going around a roundabout. It's going to allow it to turn at different speed. But if you give it enough gas, it's going to gradually lock up and then get to the point of locking up. I'll use the word locking up. It's not really locked up, but it's going to be brought together and turn at the same speeds if you if there's more power and enough traction. You know what I mean? I hope you get what I mean. I'm trying to explain it here. Now, on the front of the Hilux, if you jack up your Hilux and you go, okay, I'm going to just test out what this Anthony guy says. I'm just trying to cover it all the questions because people go, well, I jacked up mine and I spun the wheel and the other one didn't even turn. Well, that's because it's all switched off, okay? The Hilux is a two-wheel drive vehicle, and that's why it kind of matters even more to have an LSD there, because otherwise you've got a one-wheel drive most of the time, you know? If you, I'm not saying you should do this, but if you've got the V6 or if you've got a, um, you know, a diesel that you drive around, you always take off fast, you want to get going, most, you're going to get a lot more wear on your drive tyre. Now, obviously, if you've got plenty of traction, then it's going to split evenly as well anyway, but it all comes down to, you know, all the, a lot of variables, right? But just take note, the front of a Hilux, the front diff is not even turning when you are driving in two-wheel drive because it's a two-wheel drive vehicle. Your wheel bearings are turning. Your CV shafts are obviously turning, so you get a little bit of wear, but not much because there's no load driving on those. There's nothing pushing on them. Your front diff is generally resting and your front tail shaft won't be turning either until you engage four-wheel drive. On a Prado, if you were to spin the front wheel, generally it's got an open diff. Even if it's got a locker, it's gonna have an open diff. Um, one wheel's gonna spin, the other one's gonna turn the opposite way. Or it depends if you've got resistance on the brakes, things can not turn and weird things can happen as well, okay? So, but, so general guidelines. If you've got an LSD in the rear of your Prado and you take it out, lock it at 120, if you put a locker in, it's no longer to have the LSD when the locker's off. I hope you understand that. So you've, until you put the lock on, locker on, you've reduced the, com the capability of the vehicle off-road. And some people, you know, people can argue about that. Oh, the Toyota LSDs are rubbish, whatever. Like, you know, my 120, it worked well. I took it out. I put the front locker in first, transformed the vehicle. I put a rear locker in still transformed the vehicle. It was already transformed though. I had a pinion seal leak. We redid the diff and I took the locker out. It's got an LSD in there, maybe with an extra shim. So, but it works fairly well. And that's why I went, you know what? I like that. I'm happy with that. And that's what I would like in my Hilux. I didn't realize it was going to come with a single spinner at the back. It was just ridiculous. Um, Off-road, as soon as you, it was just lack of traction and traction control coming in all the time. But what happens now is there's a lot of traction Traction control comes in sometimes, but that true track is taking care of it. Like I said, it's improved at 80%. If you want more feedback, genuine feedback from me, not just the guy that goes off road, not just the guy that's paid to do this. I paid for the true track. I paid for the Eaton E-Locker. I'm gonna honestly tell you what's good, what's not, whether I should have done it or not. From also a mechanical background, mechanical perspective, not just this, you know, people that go off road, not just the mechanic. This is the, if you like the mechanic that goes off road. Um, that specializes in these vehicles, the Toyotas, the Hiluxes, the Prados, that does a lot of outback traveling, that does a lot of rough tracks and hard tracks. So I think it's pretty good feedback. There's a lot of experience there to back up what I'm talking about, okay? So if you like that, subscribe, turn the bell on. 
I reckon I've talked enough for this one, but I hope you understand a bit more about what's gonna happen with your diffs and what we're expecting from a true track is pretty much, like I gotta say, from that video, at that moment I could say, oh, that's a bit disappointing, and it is. I mean, it's fun and it's a bit, because it'd be great if it locked up, wouldn't it? It'd be just great, but I didn't really expect that to happen. Um, then when I put the brakes on, it was even more disappointing that I couldn't drive through the brakes, but I put that down to, you know, Hilux rear brakes. They don't work, do they? You pull your handbrake on. Mate, like that ad on TV, unbreakable, rolls off the cliff. Well, guess what? That's what happens. It'll roll off the cliff because the handbrakes don't hold. Anyway, whatever. Thanks for listening. Hope you understand. Hope that helps. Butter Bing. Have a nice uh, day. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice week. Catch you soon. See ya.